Some questions have simple answers, but also a hidden layer of chaos baked into them. Changing your iPhone location to another device? Yeah, it sounds easy, but Apple made this way harder than it needs to be, and also kind of buried the instructions. First, Apple lets you share location from another device, but only if they're signed into the same Apple ID. So the first rule is both devices need to belong to you. You can't just switch to your cousin's iPad and pretend you're in Kansas. Step one, make sure both devices are signed into the same Apple ID. On iOS, go to Settings, tap your name at the top, and confirm you're using your main iCloud account. If not, log out and back in. Yes, Apple makes you jump through that hoop. Now grab the device you want to pretend you're located on. Maybe it's your iPad sitting quietly on your desk in another state. Open Settings, tap on your name again, and then go to Find My. Make sure Share My Location is turned on there. This is the unfairly buried part. Scroll down and tap on Use This iPad as My Location. That's the magic button. Tap it. It now tells Apple's servers and by extension your friends, family, or stalkers that this is your current location. Common pain point here. People keep trying to change their location in Find My on the device. They're not trying to spoof from. You have to do it from the one you're pretending to generate the signal from. That's where most people get tripped up. The change is immediate. You can verify it by opening the Find My app on your iPhone and checking your Me tab. It should now show the location of the iPad or MacBook or whatever you just tap that button on. That's the rubber stamp confirmation. Here's a pro tip. This only works if the second device has access to Wi-Fi or LTE. If it goes offline, your location won't update, and people might think you're stuck in traffic somewhere weird. So keep the spoofing device charged and online. Also important to note, you can't do this with AirTags or third-party accessories. Those are tied to Find My but can't be the source location for your iCloud account. This is a full Apple device-only trick. Sorry, no loopholes yet. So why would anyone do this? Maybe you're traveling and left your iPad at home and want apps like Find My Friends or even apps like Uber to show that you're still at your home address. This is a stealth move that some people use for privacy. Some people try doing this to game dating app locations. And while that technically works, most of those apps now look at your device GPS, not your iCloud shared location. So no, you can't catfish someone in New York from Portland. Believe me, I tried. Biggest limitation... Call services like Emergency SOS or Maps will still use your iPhone's actual GPS, not the iCloud shared setting. Apple draws a hard line on anything safety related, which makes sense. You don't want to be in LA when you're dialing 911 in Seattle. So yes, you can change your iPhone's shared location to a different device, but only within Apple's universe. It's a neat trick and sometimes ridiculously helpful, but it won't teleport you across the internet like people think it does. Still, now you know the steps.